Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to my best fully upgraded car series where I take all vehicles in GTA 5 around a circuit to find the best to use for racing. Today we've been given the Truffid Nero, you could say this is the successor to the Adder and you can access it at Benny's, uh, Benny's website, that's where you get it, which means that it does have a custom variant as well that is upgradable in Benny's, so we'll see how they both do around a track. So in second place we've got the regular Nero. This is actually the fifth quickest supercar in the game. Not too bad of a lap time at all. A 101.6 is about a tenth of a second quicker than the ETR1. Right up there, you know, it's very competitive with the uh, other top supercars. It's not quite on the top level pace like the RE7B and the recent Tempesta as well. But it's very, very good. It's very, very competent. And it's certainly, like I said, it's up there with the other top supercars. It does have that active rear spoiler, which is the same as the T20. I did a video about that spoiler when we had it on the T20. That actually does increase traction when it is raised. And if it gets broken and doesn't raise, you do lose that traction bonus from that. So yeah, I'll leave a link on the video, probably in the top right hand corner if you want to see more about that. But it does have the active spoiler and that does actually Actually have an effect on uh, on traction in, in cornering but um, it, it yeah that that does help it you know it, it gives it basically a bit more extra traction but it's kind of standard to what a normal uh, spoiler would do on a normal car which is what you get when you upgrade to the Nero custom now there's not an awful lot of difference between the Nero and the Nero custom in fact there's only about a tenth of a second based in terms of lap time and when you actually look at the code in terms of what the, the car how the cars are programmed the Nero custom gets a tiny increase in engine power and apart from that that's pretty much it the vast majority of the other stats of these cars are pretty much the same they share the same stats on a, on a wide variety of different things it's only a very very tiny increase in engine power that makes the Nero custom a little bit quicker obviously you do lose that active uh, active rear spoiler so you, you go revert back to a normal rear spoiler but it, it's pretty much the same traction increase that you get from that active rear spoiler anyway so they're about the same in that respect it's more of a visual thing than anything else but yeah it's kind of you don't necessarily have to upgrade to the Nero custom to get the maximum performance you're not losing out on a lot of performance by sticking to the regular Nero if you don't want all the special racing features of the Nero custom and you just prefer the the more sleeker look of the regular Nero and you want to keep that active spoiler as well instead so you know it, it, that's something to keep in mind if you are thinking of spending money on the Nero or the Nero custom now because this could be considered the successor to the Adder which used to be the supercar with the highest top speeds previously a long time ago anyway um, I, I did decide to do a quick top speed test because a lot of people seem to be curious about it to see if it could get a high top speed and the 128.5 miles per hour that it gets is actually not too bad you know it's it's about four miles per hour down on, on the ultimate best of the 811 but it's not too bad and it, it's a good all-rounder I would say Although it's nowhere near as easy to drive around a track as the Tempesta that we saw last week, uh, and the Tempesta would be my recommendation for a car for uh, track, uh, you know, lap times and actually racing properly, the, the Nero is good for uh, covering all the bases. If you want one vehicle that will do well in a wide variety of circumstances on long highway races uh, or, or, or small technical circuits as well, the Nero does fit that quite well. Obviously, it's always better to have, say, a Tempesta for uh, circuit races and then an 811 for long highway races. But if you are only restricting yourself to one vehicle, the Nero is a very good all-rounder that fits, you know, it's not the best in everything. It's not the best in anything, but it will be very good in most situations so something to keep in mind obviously a few points that we've uh, had from this video i hope you enjoyed if you want to know more about all of the top speeds of all the vehicles those will be coming in future class specific testing videos but i am going to be saving them for those but i just figured i would throw in the top speed here because people seem to be so curious about this car in particular um, but yeah feel free to subscribe for all future testing as well and i hope to get out the testing for the other vehicles that are currently unreleased in this update uh, sooner than you might think so yeah make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on and all that good stuff to make sure that you know when those videos go live thank you so much for all the support as always i hope this video has been a help leave all your thoughts about the nero down below leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you next time